The planet Pluto, located at the farthest reaches of our planetary system, is surrounded by a massive collection of cold celestial bodies and space rocks within the Kuiper Belt, a vast region of space beyond Neptune. Once considered the tenth planet, Pluto derives its name from the Roman god of the underworld. However, at a pivotal moment in astronomical history in 2006, Pluto was reclassified and stripped of its planetary status. This change reflected the growing understanding of our solar system, where the excitement surrounding planetary exploration now emphasizes a diverse array of celestial bodies, including asteroids, a select group of minor planets, and just eight recognized planets. Throughout humanity's history of studying the cosmos, our interpretation of these bodies has evolved significantly. We have gained valuable insights into their compositions, behaviors, and potential for future exploration, painting a richer, more nuanced picture of our cosmic neighborhood. Amid this expanding knowledge, the fascination with our existence in the universe continues to spur inquiry and discovery. The James Webb Space Telescope, a pinnacle of modern astronomical advancement, is poised to uncover some of these waiting revelations, including those related to Pluto. Despite its modest size and eccentric orbit, Pluto has maintained a special place in the hearts of many for decades, even earning the distinction of being the smallest known planetary body in our solar system. The renaming of Pluto sparked a strong public reaction, highlighting the emotional connection people had to this distant world. However, scientific caution dictated that for an object to qualify as a planet, it must meet three key criteria. It must orbit the sun, have sufficient mass to form a nearly round shape under its gravity, and clear its orbit of other debris. Pluto ultimately failed to meet these criteria due to its irregular orbital path. The term planet itself has undergone significant evolution over time. Initially, it referred to any large celestial body moving across the sky, including moons and asteroids. Pluto's discovery in 1930 by American astronomer Clyde Tombaugh generated widespread excitement but was soon followed by the discovery of similarly sized objects within its vicinity, raising questions about its status. This debate intensified with the 2003 discovery of Eris, a Kuiper Belt object nearly the same size as Pluto, further challenging the traditional definition of a planet. This debate culminated in a heated discussion among the astronomical community, leading to Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet during the International Astronomical Union, IAU, meeting in Prague in 2006. This decision underscored the dynamic nature of scientific understanding and the ongoing search for clarity in the vast expanse of space. A revised definition of a planet was proposed and voted upon during the IAU meeting. This new definition acknowledged both Pluto and Eris as dwarf planets, signaling a departure from the conventional understanding of what constitutes a planet and embracing a more nuanced perspective on celestial objects. Eris, formerly known as 2003 UB313 and nicknamed Xena, was also renamed after the Greek goddess of discord, reflecting the discussions and debates surrounding its classification. Mike Brown, a planetary scientist at Caltech whose work contributed to Pluto's reclassification, gained widespread recognition for his efforts even earning the nickname Pluto Killer on social media. This renaming prompted a revision of educational materials, including textbooks, to reflect the new understanding of Pluto and Eris as dwarf planets. However, not all members of the scientific community immediately embraced the IAU's new definition. Some planetary scientists, particularly those focused on Pluto and similar objects, expressed concerns about the new criteria leading to ongoing debates within planetary science. These discussions extended beyond the scientific community and entered public discourse, raising questions about the possibility of precise classification and the implications of renaming long-established astronomical terms. Despite these debates, scientific exploration continued unabated. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft conducted a historic flyby of Pluto, providing unprecedented insights into this distant world. The mission revealed a dynamic, geologically active planet with features like nitrogen ice plains and a striking heart-shaped region, which captured the public's imagination. As we reflect on these developments, it is clear that our understanding of the solar system and its many worlds continues to evolve. 
The reclassification of Pluto and Eris as dwarf planets represents a milestone in our ongoing exploration of the universe, emphasizing the complexity and diversity of worlds beyond Earth. As new horizons traveled through space at a remarkable speed of 32,300 miles per hour, it captured detailed images of Pluto's near side during its closest approach. However, due to the spacecraft's trajectory and the positioning of the Sun, Pluto's far side, often referred to as the dark side, remained hidden from view. Despite the limitations of these images, they provided remarkable detail, allowing scientists to observe surface features as small as one mile across, far surpassing previous observations, including those made by the Hubble Space Telescope. The analysis of these images has provided fresh perspectives on Pluto's dynamic nature, with scientists investigating the possibility of a subsurface ocean and surface cycles. Subsequent discoveries, such as the presence of ammonia on Pluto's surface and unique ice formations, continue to reveal the complexity of this distant world. Richard Binzel, a planetary scientist involved in the New Horizons mission, has referred to Pluto as the gift that keeps on giving as it continues to surprise researchers with its unpredictability. Before the New Horizons mission, the most detailed images of Pluto came from the Hubble Space Telescope, which revealed a world with distinct surface features. However, New Horizons provided close-up images of Pluto's landscape, including the prominent heart-shaped region and the vast, frozen plains known as Sputnik Planitia. The discovery of Sputnik Planitia's unusual configuration, along with Pluto's largest moon, Sharon, sparked interest in the possibility of a subsurface ocean influencing its surface features. The presence of ammonia in the ice covering Sputnik Planitia suggests geological activity beneath the surface, further indicating a dynamic and evolving world. As scientists continue to study the data collected by New Horizons, they are uncovering more details about Pluto's complex and dynamic nature, broadening the possibilities for future exploration. The varied landscape on Pluto's far side including mountains, depressions, and plains, bear similarities to features seen on other celestial bodies with subsurface oceans. While Pluto's far side remains largely out of view, researchers are eagerly anticipating future missions to explore this mysterious region in greater detail. The anomalies observed on Pluto's surface have fueled speculations about its geological history and the role of its subsurface ocean in shaping its surface features. These discoveries challenge traditional interpretations of planetary evolution and highlight the dynamic nature of distant worlds like Pluto. As New Horizons continued its mission, scientists speculated about the future of Pluto's core, particularly the possibility that radioactive decay within the core could have generated enough heat to cause surface deformation, potentially leading to wrinkles or fractures similar to those seen on Earth. However, when New Horizons captured images of Pluto's far side, they revealed gaps instead of expected wrinkles, suggesting that the surface may have partially frozen over time. This massive crack running along Pluto's near side resembles Earth's East African Rift System and is thought to have formed due to the freezing and expansion of a subsurface ocean. The age of the crack suggests that the ocean began cooling rapidly after reaching the surface, possibly creating conditions favorable for the development of life. Additionally, the reddish tint of Pluto's surface indicative of organic particles, hints at the presence of complex organic compounds. Laboratory tests have shown that such compounds can form through radiation from solar wind or cosmic rays, suggesting that similar processes may occur on Pluto. The discovery of ammonia-bound ice on Pluto's near side supports the idea that the dwarf planet could harbor rich organic compounds. While this does not imply the presence of life, it suggests that conditions could support life if they were suitable. Measurements from Pluto's far side have not only contributed to the success of the mission, but have also led to the discovery of fascinating geological features, such as methane ice formations resembling tall structures. These formations, which encircle Pluto's equator, have puzzled researchers, with theories ranging from atmospheric solidification to disintegration by intense sunlight. Understanding Pluto's cold climate and landscape requires careful study of its atmospheric conditions. Scientists are refining climate models to replicate observed anomalies and recreate Pluto's atmosphere and surface conditions in laboratory settings. Although the James Webb Space Telescope cannot capture high-resolution images of Pluto, its longer wavelengths could provide additional revelations as scientists continue to unravel Pluto's mysteries. 
As we pursue these discoveries, we embark on a journey that reflects humanity's relentless quest for knowledge and the ever-advancing understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to capture and analyze infrared light offers a unique opportunity to study interstellar objects, including those passing through our solar system. Its advanced capabilities allow researchers to delve deeper into the secrets of these distant visitors, offering clearer insights into their composition and origins. This ongoing investigation underscores the importance of continued scientific inquiry in unraveling the mysteries of our vast and fascinating universe. The James Webb Space Telescope represents a new era in cosmology, bringing cutting-edge technology to the study of distant celestial objects and interstellar travelers. With its advanced infrared capabilities, the telescope can detect cosmic phenomena that are invisible to conventional optical telescopes, enabling researchers to explore the early universe, star formation, and exoplanet composition with unprecedented detail. One of the most exciting aspects of the Webb's mission is its ability to study interstellar objects like Oumuamua, a strange visitor from outside our solar system. When it was first detected in 2017, Oumuamua attracted global attention due to its unusual elongated shape and rapid movement, prompting speculation about its origins. The Webb's capabilities are expected to provide further insights into such interstellar objects by analyzing their structure and trajectories. Researchers hope to learn more about the processes that led to their ejection from their home star systems, offering valuable clues about the formation and evolution of planetary systems beyond our own. Exploring Pluto and the Kuiper Belt continues to be a focal point of scientific interest. Data from the New Horizons mission has provided an abundance of information about Pluto's surface and geological features. As scientists analyze these discoveries, they plan to deepen our understanding of the processes that shape distant bodies. The James Webb Space Telescope's observations could complement and expand on these findings by providing additional data on the composition and dynamics of Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects. Understanding these distant worlds is crucial for unraveling the history and evolution of our solar system, as well as the development of other planetary systems in the cosmos. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues its mission, groundbreaking discoveries are expected to push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. Its ability to observe in the infrared spectrum opens up new avenues for exploring previously hidden aspects of space, from studying the earliest galaxies to examining exoplanet atmospheres and interstellar travelers. The web is poised to make significant contributions to cosmology, expanding our knowledge of the universe and reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope stands at the forefront of astronomical research, offering extraordinary insights into the universe. Its cutting-edge technology and capabilities promise to unlock new secrets and broaden our understanding of the cosmos, preparing the way for future discoveries and expanding the horizons of human knowledge. As the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, continues to extend its reach into the depths of space. Its contributions to our understanding of the universe are poised to reshape the very foundations of astrophysical science. One of the telescope's key strengths is its ability to peer into distant and faint cosmic objects, enabling astronomers to observe phenomena that were once beyond our technological capabilities. By capturing infrared light, which is invisible to optical telescopes, JWST provides a clearer view of objects that are too distant cold, or faint to be seen with traditional instruments. This allows scientists to study the formation of stars, galaxies, and planetary systems with remarkable detail. In addition to studying distant galaxies, the JWST is also equipped to observe the formation and evolution of stars, including those in the early stages of their life cycle. The infrared capabilities of the telescope enable it to peer through dust clouds, where new stars and planetary systems are being born. These observations are vital for understanding the processes that give rise to stars like our own sun and could help answer fundamental questions about the origins of our solar system and the conditions that make life possible. The ability to study distant star-forming regions offers unprecedented insights into the stages of stellar evolution and the distribution of heavy elements in the universe. Furthermore, the JWST plays a crucial role in the study of exoplanets, planets orbiting stars beyond our solar system. By analyzing the atmospheric composition of these exoplanets, 
Researchers are making significant strides toward identifying which worlds may be habitable. The telescope can detect key elements in exoplanet atmospheres, such as water vapor, methane, and carbon dioxide, which are critical for determining whether life could exist on those planets. This is a critical aspect of the ongoing search for extraterrestrial life, as the discovery of a planet with the right chemical ingredients could point to the potential for life beyond Earth. In addition to its contributions to planetary science and astrophysics, the JWST is also helping to deepen our understanding of the broader cosmic landscape. For instance, its ability to capture detailed spectra from distant galaxies has already begun to reveal important information about the distribution of matter in the early universe. By studying these galaxies, scientists are investigating the origins of the universe, the formation of the first galaxies, and the processes that led to the creation of the complex cosmic structures we see today. One particularly exciting application of the JWST is its potential to study interstellar objects like Oumuamua and Borisov, two mysterious visitors from beyond our solar system. The detection of these objects sparked a wave of scientific curiosity, as their unusual trajectories and characteristics suggest that they may have originated in entirely different star systems. With the JWST, Scientists hope to learn more about the composition, origin, and journey of these interstellar travelers, which could provide valuable insights into the dynamics of star systems beyond our own. As we continue to push the boundaries of scientific exploration, the James Webb Space Telescope stands as a testament to human ingenuity and our enduring desire to explore the cosmos. Its discoveries will undoubtedly inspire new generations of astronomers and researchers, encouraging further innovation and exploration. By providing us with a clearer view of the universe and its many wonders, the JWST promises to redefine our understanding of space, time, and the very nature of existence. As we look ahead, the future of astronomy is brighter than ever, with the JWST leading the way into the next frontier of cosmic discovery.